Hello, this is a quick unboxing for um, the iFixit magnetic project mat. And the first thing you notice is that it's not um, quite as big as you're expecting. It's uh, 20, 20, almost 26 centimeters long, according to the box, and about uh, 20 and a half centimeters wide. So, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be that big. So what we'll do is we'll open it up and take a look. There's like a, a pull tab on there, which is kind of nice. That opens that up. Pull down on outer sleeve to open. Well, that's rather clever, isn't it? And then we've got that. It says pull tab to open. Oh, a little, little pen has popped out. It's actually a correctable Lumo Color Staedtler pen. And then I guess we just take it out of there. Nothing else in that bit. So there's the mat itself. That's me on the back, which is a bit of cardboard. So there's the actual mat. So we'll just measure that again. It's 25.4 by 20.4. So it doesn't look that big. So what we'll do is we'll use it and we'll see um, whether it's any good for, for well, it's obviously going to be good for mobile phones because you can tell by the size of it that all the bits for a phone will fit on there. But let's see what it's good for um, other than that. Like, for example, for laptops, which is kind of why I've got one. And whether or not I fix it, need to think about making a, a, a much bigger one. So um, we'll um, take a laptop apart and we'll um, position the screws on it and see, see if it works. So just a quick, quick example then. This is, um, this is an XPS 1595 50. Uh, there's about 16 screws that I've taken out to get the hard drive out of it. Um, and they're on the mat and obviously they fit on. So um, the key thing here is that it doesn't really matter what you do, the screws aren't falling off. And although this is actually quite expensive for a magnetic project mat, it's going to be cheaper than um, replacing screws that you lose. I mean, obviously, one way to find lost screws is to just run over the, the area with a vacuum cleaner and hope it picks it up. <laughs> um, I've done that in the past. But um, but I'll be using this from now on because, obviously, it keeps the orientation of the screws. And although most of the screws, as you can see, are the same, the ones for the, the back plate are the same, apart from these little two funky ones that are in the middle, there are obviously a variety of screws, and it's just nice to get into the habit of lining the screws up to um, the hole you took them out of just because it's going to be easier and more efficient when it comes to putting them back in but yeah so um, it's well worth it if you um, if you do take laptops apart a little bit or you've got to think about screws um, yeah so um, anyway any comments stick them in the comments um, liking and subscribing is always encouraged and as usual thanks for watching